Good afternoon, everybody. It's John Kirk here. I'm here with Andrew Dawson, who's the COO of the Sunwing Travel Group. And we're here for the grand opening of the Saint Lu Royalton St. Lucia Resort and Spa. Brand new property, basically built from the ground up. What an unbelievable job, the Blue Diamond. Yeah, they've done a fantastic job. Fantastic. Unbelievable. Yeah. So I think this is their best so far. So how long, because we've got lots of great video footage that we're going to run on the property, but how long did it actually take from start to finish to build this property well, up? It was about 18 months from start to finish to get this, this going. This is where, as some agents might remember, Smuggler's Cove used to be here before. It was completely demolished, nothing exists of it today and all brand new. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. How many rooms are at the property? 450. Uh, that's including the hideaway section and the uh, and the Royalton section. I've noticed, obviously you're infamous or famous for the food the food selection, and I've noticed that <laughs> <laughs> not you, no, not me. <laughs> okay, but but the quality of food here is incredible. Yeah, and, no, it's uh, superb. The restaurants, I, I call it Restaurant Row when I was walking down. There was uh, Hunter's Restaurant, there was the Tex-Mex Restaurant, they're all lined up and no reservations are required for these restaurants. Nothing, I mean there's all those a la carte to choose from, all those rival any restaurant that you'd get back in Canada, but you don't even have to eat there because the buffet would keep you going for a week. Yeah. Seriously, there's so many choices. Yeah. I was there this morning, you don't just get sausage on the breakfast menu. There were five different varieties. And I've, I've yeah. noticed even on the menu, I was I was at the um, upstairs of the sports bar last night, and and it's on the menu. There was a, there's a full French menu as well. There's a lot Indeed. of the, yeah. there's little touches of Canadiana everywhere because I saw poutine on the menu, which yeah. I was quite amazed at when you're in in Saint Lucia yeah. at a sports bar at a, at a hotel like this overlooking the the sea. And to see poutine on there is crazy. You no, know, I mean, uh, our, our product team at Sunwing know exactly what the Canadian traveler wants, and they put a lot of thought and given their input. It's a real, it's a, a blend of everybody's input as to uh, as to what we're going to offer. Even, I even saw Canadian, Canadian bacon I saw Indeed, on the menu yes. as well, which, yeah, is, yeah. which is, is yeah. pretty remarkable. And I mean, we've got to cater to every demographic as well. This hotel's going to have a lot of uh, UK passengers in the summer, yeah. and a lot of Canadians and Americans in uh, in winter. A mix all the time. So great yeah. great family facilities here. Incredible, incredible kids' water park splash area. Tell us about that. How did that come up? Uh, a feature of all Royaltons is to have a splash area. Some have actually got full water slides, like Punta Cana and Jamaica. This one has a splash area. Yeah, but it's just so there's fun stuff that kids can do. Kids. Including those. <laughs> <laughs> and thank God they're oh, all <laughs> on there too. It's nice to see that happen with yeah. other, other people's kids. Reminds me of mine. It's not yours. mine. Oh, no, it's not our kids. <laughs> but uh, but it being mean, fantastic with all the rooms that you've got, it opened up. I guess your timing, you know, would have been great if you could capture a full winter season, but yeah, you're into sometimes it now, it's you know? not to be. Obviously, you're doing construction in a country where we've no experience before, and it's difficult to get raw materials here. And yeah. Yeah. Anyway, the good thing is we're open now and it's open and running. So in winter and sales, winter sales are, are, are not bad, I, I gather, from what I see. It seems, seems uh, things this, well. this has been uh, a good ending to this winter. Obviously, yeah. we're comparing it to a, uh, a struggle last year, so yeah. it, it, it's good. The exchange is still hard. It makes pricing high, but I think consumers have got over that sticker shock. Yeah. Uh, it's been a, a, when we sit in Toronto, we forget that it's been a rough winter in the rest of the country. Yeah. So I think, yeah. March and April have been very, very good for us. What about yeah. what about next winter? How are things? Yeah, going? it's shaping up very well. Advanced sales are good. We've yeah. got the brochures are all on press as we speak. Oh We've, really? Yeah, yeah, already. Wow. They've gone. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, so before we could go to March break, we had to get rid of the the brochures off the <laughs> off the, out of the shop. That's your timeline. Yeah, exactly. No March break if the yeah, brochures yeah. aren't done. And then we're only we're literally we're four and a half weeks away from the first uh, the first travel agent shows. So register now. My yeah. God, that's coming up yeah, quick, isn't kicking it? Kicking off on the 25th of April, I think. Well, thank you. I mean, it's great to have uh, have Travel Pulse Canada down here thank for, you for the for grand coming, opening. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll take care of tonight and get some good footage of the Yeah, the yeah. I mean, and this is just the beginning. We have Negril coming, which is, uh, everybody says, is every bit as awesome as this it's amazing. in a month's time. It's amazing. Well, I mean, what's, what's, the, what's your, the flight service going to be out of Toronto next winter? For St. Lucia? Lucia? Yeah, for St. Lucia. Uh, we're going to have... Currently, we've got two flights scheduled a week. We may add to that, but we're uh, it, we're working not just with this property, but with other partners in St. Lucia as well. Excellent. And uh, there's some good early group demand for St. Lucia, so it's uh, if that continues, we may add a third. Well, even yeah. even just walking around the property, I saw on different floors lots of um, 
happy honeymoon, weddings. So there's weddings and this this must be a fantastic yeah, I mean, place for Saint Lucia. This is the this is the place. <laughs> yeah. Saint Lucia. Come yeah, on, yeah, yeah. And I think this is like this is going to really revolutionise and really reignite this destination. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. So much so, the prime minister is actually coming this evening. For he is, the yeah, yeah. And he's been very he and his cabinet been very supportive of, yeah. of us during the whole construction yeah. process. Yeah. Well, congratulations to you and to uh, all the people at Blue Diamond Resorts and uh, yeah. what a fantastic event fantastic property thank you very much for having us down here we look forward to this evening will there be fireworks <laughs> uh, <laughs> probably not well, well you normally <laughs> you, you could be in charge of oh, that i got enough yeah, fireworks yeah. as it is right now anyway so i'm yeah. good anyways well thanks very much for thank having you. us and uh uh for all the agents out there great property uh, you'll see some other footage that we covered yeah yeah and, we're uh, continuing to point to st lucia all summer long so oh yeah hmm, interesting yeah all right there's a tidbit of info i didn't know not that i know everything but I should know. All right, thanks very much, Thank everybody. You. Thank you. Thanks for watching.